Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing well and having a great day. In this video, I just want to talk about the general profitability for crypto miners right now uh, in terms of GPU miners and I'll talk about ASIC miners as well, like the, the infamous S9s and uh, L3 pluses maybe. So I'll take a look at those as well as the correlation to the hash rates like Bitcoin hash rate, Ethereum hash rate, and I'll also talk about the uh, the price action and the Bitcoin dominance, all that kind of stuff. Before I begin, guys, I just want to mention that there you guys have two more days to enter into the GPU giveaway that I announced on September 6th uh, for the Aeonpool.tech one-year anniversary. So there's five different requirements here that you have to do in order to participate. And the reason why you guys have two more days is because the last requirement here uh, which Wednesday is the last day, is you guys have 10 days, you have to mine on Aeonpool.tech for 10 days uh, in order to participate in this giveaway uh, with your Aeon address. So I'll be doing a live giveaway live stream on September 28th, 2019 at 4 p.m., okay? And that will be, we'll be giving away P106 100 mining card, a P106 90 mining card, and a GTX 1050 Ti uh, from CryptoNuffy. And so also as well as 300 Aeon and 300 Plat. So get in, get in your address, guys. Participate in the giveaway. Check, take a look at the uh, requirements. Uh, right now, there's only 40 comments. Okay, so there's a sixth in 40 chance in winning a GPU or some Aeon. So you guys have a really good chance. GPU giveaway, uh, Aeonpool.tech, one year anniversary. To begin the video, guys, I just want to ask you guys a question. How is everyone doing right now? How are you guys doing in the crypto mining world? Are you guys still mining? Um, have some of you shut down because your electrical costs are too high in correlation to the profitability of the coins? Uh, I would like to know. Everyone's situation is different, okay? Um, I'm not here to judge. I'm not here to bash anybody. I, I am genuinely curious of some people's situations and uh, I would like to definitely read them and I'll, I'll definitely talk to with you guys uh, below in the comments. So uh, feel free to comment be down below on how you guys are doing right now. I, I would like to know. So let's begin guys. How, how's, how's profitability now as a GPU miner? So I want to do some correlation here from the last video I made on August 11th, 2019. Okay, so it's September 16th, uh, I guess 17th by the time you guys see this video. And on August 11th, okay, a 6x RX 570 rig that does 180 mega hash at around 720 watts and 10 cents kilowatt hour USD. Back then, August 11th, we we're making a dollar and seven cents after electrical costs, okay, or a dollar 12 uh, if you're mining Ethereum Classic, okay. If you had free electricity, which I don't think many of you do, it's uh, two dollars and 85 cents or two dollars and 80 cents a day. Okay, profitability on a regular, typical RX 570 rig. Okay, now let's take a look at uh, as of now. So six RX 570s. Okay, um, what to mine doesn't really have the correct number here for ETH hash. So it says 167. I'm just gonna put 180 here and 720 watts. That's what I had before. And 10 cents a kilowatt hour. We're gonna hit calculate. And we shall see right now. So, if you had free electricity, you'd be making two dollars and sixty-nine cents on Nice Hash, or if you're mining Ethereum or Ethereum Classic alone, around two dollars and sixty-four cents. Okay. If you had to pay for your electricity, then you'd only be making about ninety-one cents a day right now, as of making this video. So, so from August eleventh, a dollar seven to ninety-one cents. So we've definitely have. Uh, a bit lower profitability and w the reasons for that has the contributions of you know the the mining hash rates okay the difficulty the mining network uh, has gone higher okay as well as um, you know miners are coming in more miners are coming in and the ethereum price uh, I guess at the time I don't have the price here from August 11th but I believe it has come down uh, significantly since um, uh, you know, because of the whole Bitcoin dominance thing, and um, yeah, but now, um, you know, Ethereum has kind of been going up recently, uh, the past couple of days. Uh, so, 
it's been gaining a little bit more traction in terms of uh, Satoshi level. Uh, so we take a look here at the chart. Um, we were at a low of about, uh, let's see, 1,632,000 Satoshis uh, for one Ethereum. But now you can see here, if you guys were doing, you know, opportunity costs here, 1,926,000 Satoshis. So about a 300,000 Satoshi rise since, um, let's see here, September 6th and now it's September 16th. So yeah, if you guys were doing that kind of trading and stuff, you can uh, possibly trade back into Bitcoin. Who knows? Is this a sign of altcoin season? I have absolutely no idea, guys. But anyways, uh, there's there's the uh, profitability for this for September, and I've definitely been feeling it. I'm sure some of you guys have been feeling it as well. Uh, you know, the the crunch, the pressure of getting less uh, for your mining rigs. You know, it's not like <laughs> it's not like back in in September 2017 or uh, December 2017 where we're getting like I don't know eight dollars six dollars a day on a single like GTX 1060 rig or on a single card like those profits were insane back then I, I'm sure you guys can remember that uh, but look you, can, you guys can see here ethereum back then Satoshi level was about let's see 14 million a uh, 0.14 Bitcoin uh, for one Ethereum, 0 0.15 Bitcoin for one Ethereum, and now, because of you know this huge bear market that we've had, and uh, this just continual spiral down of the altcoins, <laughs> one Ethereum now is about uh, 0 0.02 Bitcoin. Okay, so man, it's just nuts. It's just crazy, right, to look at that kind of thing. Um, if you were mining back then, that is. So another thing I want to talk about guys is the Bitcoin hash rate has been going up considerably. Still going higher and higher and higher. Um, I think it's almost 100 exahashes right now, which is just insane. And I know I have some of you guys that are, you know, Bitmain or, uh, uh, sorry, Bitcoin miners. So you guys have ASICs in order to mine Bitcoin like S9s or S17s. So I know some of you guys that are in my community have those kind of things. And I know that they are actually profitable right now. So let's let's just quickly look, uh, take a look at ASICminervalue.com. Okay, so typical average, I'm gonna say 10 cents a kilowatt hour here. Hit apply, and we go and check out an Antminer S9, for example. Okay, so for people that have the 16 terahash version, looks like you're making a dollar 46 a day after your your electrical cost. Okay. Um, but you, if you have the older S9s, you know, the ones that were from September 2017 or back in 2017, um, you're still making, you know, a good 65 cents a day, 60 to 65 cents a day on an older S9. And congrats to those people, because I know that there's a lot of Bitcoin farms out there that have, you know, 0 0.02 uh, kilowatt hour for electrical price. Like some people have really cheap electrical prices. Uh, just for example, I'll just show you guys, um, those those people, those farms, big big Bitcoin farms are profiting, still profiting um, very well, like just just insanely well. And of course, I put in the wrong uh, uh, kilowatt hour. I'm just going to put 0 0.4 and uh, let's see what happens here. S9. Okay, so at even at 4 cents a kilowatt hour, at an older S9, ASIC... At minor S9, you're making two dollars, pretty much two dollars a day still, which is I think it's two two RX 570 rigs basically. So 12 RX 570 rigs, you're at the same profitability as one at minor S9, an old at minor S9 even, which is kind of crazy uh, if you had four cents a kilowatt hour. That is okay. So of course profitability will always be different. It'll always vary. Uh, depending on your electrical cost, okay? So take that as you will, guys. And uh, also, in correlation with network difficulty, uh, which Ethereum has been going up, okay? So not only with Bitcoin it's been going up, uh, Ethereum is also going up as well. And I'm sure there's other altcoins that have been going up as well. I haven't really taken a look at it, but uh, if you guys are interested, miningpoolstats.stream, one of my favorite websites uh, to, to take a look at uh, network hash rates, pool hash rates to see how decentralized they are, you know, how spread out they are. And uh, yeah, so 
you guys can see, you know, Ethereum network hash rate has been growing up, has been growing steadily. Definitely, it's I think for this year it, it it's at a new high. Actually, no, it's not yet. 189, so compared to 190, so we're not at a new high yet. 190 um, tera hash, 190 tera hash on January 7th, 2019. So I'm pretty sure we're gonna hit that pretty soon, and we'll probably hit a new high of the uh, network hash rate for this year for Ethereum. Um, so that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about, guys. I know, I know, for most of you, you guys probably keep up with what to mine and other profitability websites. Maybe for some of you that don't really keep up with it and you like you like me to talk about it for you guys, I appreciate that. But let me know down below. And uh, I would just like to gauge the community with the question again. Just how are you guys doing? How's everyone doing? I I, I know some of you guys have been feeling the pressure um, in terms of profitability. And some of you have expressed concern regarding the, you know, is crypto mining still feasible? Is still is still profitable? Yes, yes, it is. It, but it totally depends what your your electrical cost is. Okay, it might not just it might not make sense for you. It depends where you are, right? So, anyways, guys, let me know what you think. I appreciate you guys for watching, and please check out the GPU giveaway. You guys have two more days to enter in. Link in the description below. Thanks so much, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one, and peace out.